you're having trouble with your FaceTime photos not showing up or saving in the Photos app, you're definitely not alone. It can be super frustrating, especially when you're trying to capture those special moments. But don't stress, this video is here to help you get your FaceTime photos saving correctly. We'll walk through some easy solutions together, so let's dive right in. Solution 1. Check FaceTime settings. First, open the settings app on your iPhone. Then scroll down a bit. After that, tap on the app section. Next, scroll down until you find FaceTime and tap on it. Make sure that FaceTime Live Photos is enabled. If this setting is off, it won't save photos during your calls. Solution 2. Check Photos App Permissions. Start by opening the Settings app again. Then, scroll down. After that, tap on Privacy and Security. Now tap on Photos. Look for FaceTime in the list and make sure it has permission to access your photos. Solution 3. Check Storage Space. Running low on storage can stop photos from being saved. Open Settings again. Then tap on General. After that, select iPhone Storage. Now check to see if you have enough available space. If you are short on space, consider deleting unused apps or files to free up some room. Solution 4. Check iCloud Photos Settings. If you are using iCloud Photos, you'll want to check these settings. Go to Settings once more. Tap on your Apple ID. After that, select your name at the top and tap on iCloud. Next, tap on Photos and make sure iCloud Photos is enabled. This ensures that your FaceTime photos sync correctly to your library. Solution 5. Reset all settings. Resetting all settings can help fix configuration issues without losing your data. Go to Settings, then scroll down. After that, tap on General. Next, scroll down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. Finally, tap on Reset, then choose Reset All Settings. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the issue with your FaceTime photos not showing or saving in the Photos app. If this video helped you out, make sure to subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and stay tuned for our next video.